Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Here's our pedigree that we are going to analyze today. And we have three questions that we have to answer. Question A, what is a probable mode of inheritance? Take a look, we have one, two, three generations here. And we see, for example, that two unaffected people have affected child. This gives us information that this is recessive genetic disorder, but is it uh, x link or sex link or not? Because we see here that both males and females are affected. We assume that this is autosomal recessive genetic disorder. So here's going to be an answer for the first question. Autosomal recessive and question B. What is the probability that the child of the brother sister mating between two, three and two, four, two generation two, three, and four will show the trait phenotypically. Let's show genotype of each person here. So genotype of this person because he is affected is going to be small a small a and we assume that this person is phenotypically and genotypically normal. That give us information that all children of this couple are going to inherit from mother side only dominant allele and from father side only recessive allele and all of them have to be obligate carriers. So all children of this couple are going to be obligate carriers. And probability that the child of this couple is going to be small a, small a genotype is going to be, take a look, from father side he can inherit dominant allele or recessive allele. Probability that he is going to inherit recessive allele is going to be one half. And probability that he is going to inherit recessive allele from the mother side also going to be one half because he can inherit with the dominant allele or recessive. So one half times one half is going to be one quarter. So one half times one half is going to be one quarter. This is an answer for the second question. One quarter is probability that child of this couple is going to be small a, small a genotype. And the last question, what is the probability that the child of the first cousin marriage, three, two, and three, three, generation three, three, two, and three, three, will carry the gene for the trait? Take a look. Uh, this child would have common ancestor, uh, this person and this person, but only this person can uh, pass this recessive allele through both mother side and father side to this child. And we know that this person is obligate heterozygous. And both of these people, as you see, phenotypically normal, but they have affected child. This gives us information that this child of the genotype small a, small a. And this also tells us that this person have to be heterozygous because this child would get one recessive allele from the mother side. We know that she is obligate carrier, but another recessive allele have to get from the other parent. So we also know that this parent is uh, obligate carrier. And what is the probability that this person also would be a carrier? Take a look. Let's build simple Punnett square, capital A, small a, genotype of one parent, capital A, small a, genotype of the other parent. And when we calculate probability, we just build simple Punnett square. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. We know for sure that this person doesn't belong to this genotype, otherwise she would be affected just like your brother. So we know that she belongs to one of these genotypes. And we are specifically interested in her probability of being carrier, of being capital A, small a genotype. In this case, she can pass this recessive allele to her child and probability would be two out of three. So let's put this here, two out of three, probability of this person of being carrier. Now let's find probability of this person also of being carrier. And we know that mother of this person is affected. So small a, small a genotype. And we know that this person shows normal 
phenotype. And that means that one allele have to be dominant. So from the father side, we know that father is obligate carrier, but we know for sure that he got uh, this dominant allele and not recessive. So he got dominant allele from the father side because from the mother side, he can get only recessive allele, but his phenotype is normal. So we know that he is obligate carrier and probability is going to be 100% of one over one. And now our calculations would be as follows. So probability that this person here, mother of the child uh, is a carrier is two thirds. Probability that father of the child is a carrier 100% or one over one. Let's also put probability here and two carriers would have one quarter of the progeny affected of being small a, small a genotype. So we have to multiply by one quarter and we are going to get two times one is two times one is two. So in the denominator, we are going to get two and in the denominator, three times one is going to be three times four is going to be 12. So two over 12, or we can divide by two, both numerator and denominator, and we are going to get one over six. And this is going to be our answer to the third question. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.